Little Known Facts of the U.S. Constitution. In Article 2, Section 4 of the U.S. Constitution, it says, quote, The President, Vice President, and all civil officers of the United States shall be removed from office on impeachment for and conviction of treason, bribery, or other high crimes and misdemeanors. Now, the president and vice president are pretty obvious on who they are, but all civil officers of the United States. Okay, now civil officers are people who have to have Senate approval. Okay, so this could be any federal judge. This could be appointees by the president to be ambassadors or directors of certain departments or secretaries of certain departments, any civil officer that is uh, nominated by the president and confirmed by the Senate. Now, that's as opposed to inferior officers. Inferior officers are, they don't need Senate approval. And so the president simply picks them or hires them uh, for particular offices. Now, this is really important to note here. It says, shall be removed from office on impeachment for and conviction of. Impeachment is done by the House, and the conviction would be decided by the Senate trial. So if they are convicted in the Senate, it is an automatic removal from office if it's under these three things, treason, bribery, or other high crimes and misdemeanors. Now we have to jump around here a little bit. Now we have to go back to Article 1, Section 3, which is how the makeup of the Senate is. And the Senate has the power to try all cases of impeachment. And this is what it says in Article 1, Section 3. Quote, the judgment in cases of impeachment shall not extend further than to removal from office and disqualification to hold and enjoy any office of honor, trust, or profit under the United States. But the party convicted shall nevertheless be liable and subject to indictment, trial, judgment, and punishment according to the law, unquote. Okay, so right here it says the judgment of cases of impeachment shall not extend further than removal from office, okay? And that goes back to Article 2, Section 4, where it says they shall be removed from office, okay? And, and this is a very important word, the word and here, and disqualification to hold and enjoy any office of honor, trust, or profit under the United States. Okay, so there's actually two parts of this. First, if they're convicted, and it takes two-thirds vote to convict, they are automatically removed from office. That's in Article 2, Section 4. However, in Article 1, Section 3, it says, and disqualification to hold and enjoy any office of honor, trust, profit under the United States. That means the Senate can then vote by majority vote whether or not to bar them from ever holding public office again. It doesn't have to happen, but it can happen, but only after they're removed from office after a case of impeachment. Now, this last part here is very, very important. It says, the party convicted shall nevertheless be liable and subject to indictment, trial, judgment, and punishment according to the law. Okay, so what that means is you can't throw somebody in jail or execute them or something like that from an impeachment trial. However, let's say that, you know, the high official is being impeached on murder. Okay, well, that's fine. They're, they're, they're kicked out of office, and the Senate might vote to disqualify them. But then they can go to criminal court for indict, indictment, trial, judgment, and possible punishment according to the law in criminal court. And so this is a very, very important uh, aspect of the um, impeachment trial conviction uh, from the U.S. Senate.